Hey guys. Okay, we got a lot going on in here. Ooh. Okay, maybe not. We got a lot going on in here tonight. I am currently making Sid's tuna and seasoned rice, which I have a video of for that, and I will link it at the end of this video, which I learned how to do that. I feel such a big girl. Anyways, I'm watching the voice, but I'm going to do my um, fried cauliflower rice. So, I'm chopping and I'm getting things prepped up. We are going to do this with chicken, and um, I have all the seasonings. We'll get to that here in a minute, but right now I'm reducing his sauce. I'm going to get his rice in the cooker, and then we'll start the cauliflower fried rice. Yummy! Hey guys, okay, got our chicken chopped up. We're gonna start putting our Asian seasonings in. So we're just gonna let this marinate a little bit. So we are going two tablespoons of the Bragg's coconut aminos. Oh, I'm loving this. So I get this in here. I have my rice steamed in the bag in the microwave. So we are going to season this up so we're going to go with about a tablespoon of garlic powder and onion powder whichever which way those could go okay i have a, a, about three large mushrooms i have some green onion and some white onion and the reason i did both of these because i only have a little bit of both so we're gonna mix them up we're also going to use some carrots and we're going to make ourselves some cauliflower fried rice. We're also going to be using, let me grab this, I'm going to get some salt and pepper and we're going to be using two tablespoons of this roasted, ooh, get in the camera, roasted chicken better than bouillon and this is why I didn't make this last night because I didn't have this ingredient. I bought some today and try to get it all in there. So, let's get that in there. And we're gonna get a quarter of a cup of water. And then we're just gonna toss this around. Oh uh, yeah, one more thing. One cup of rice wine vinegar. Mmm, it's gonna be so super delicious. Okay, let's just get this all mixed up. Oh my gosh, this guys, it's gonna be so yummy. So once we get this started cooking, it's gonna go super fast. So we're gonna let this sit to the side because this will go in later in the game than the veggies. Okay. Oh, it smells delicious, okay. So I am going to get some, this is the marinade for Sid's um, food. Let's pick you up just a little bit here so we can, oh, maybe not, yeah. Cameraman, please, cause we do not have it going on. All right, so we're gonna get some avocado oil. Heating up, about two tablespoons. And we're gonna start letting that get hot. It's on medium high. I have so much going on over here. It is ridiculous. All right. So we've got Sid's tuna, uh, tuna steaks and uh, his seasoned rice going in the Ninja Foodie. I did put that recipe up already. Oh, a week ago, I think it was about then. So. Here in just a few minutes, we're gonna start sauteing up our onion. And then we're going to throw in our mushrooms and some carrot and let this all kind of get cooked and happy. It's gonna be yummy. I don't have a wok. I think I need to get one. Hmm. I need a good wok. I need a good wok. All right getting one. Let's open this little stuff beeping at us. I don't like my cauliflower hard. I like it's like super soft so I cook it a little extra and then let it sit. Alright so let's go ahead and throw in the green onions. Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm 
get some white onion out of here. And grab a couple of mushrooms, it's all right. All right, let's get a swish this around a little bit. Okay, left handed. All right. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let this all cook down. Um, then I'm gonna take the veggies out and cook the chicken. And I'm going to take out the chicken. I'm gonna put the rice in. I'm gonna fry the rice up and uh, let it get a little bit dried out because cauliflower rice is gonna be really wet. So I'm just gonna fry that up a little bit, dry it out, throw everything back together. We are going to scramble up a couple eggs and stir it into our cauliflower rice. It is super, super yummy. I actually made a pork version of this over the weekend and it was so good. So, I already played around with these flavors a little. So. Alright, so these are getting cooked down pretty good. Still have a little to go, so we're going to go ahead and add our carrots and our mushrooms. Ooh. I know stir fry doesn't usually have mushrooms in it, but it's a good filler, like, to help make more so that you can, you know, just kind of stretch it out a little more. Oh, another mushroom here. Just to chop this up real quick. Yeah, I washed and cleaned these a little bit earlier, so might as well get this last little guy in there. Since I already have him out, I'm watching the boys and cooking. What a better night can you have? Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and throw this in. And then I accidentally put these shredded carrots in the freaking freezer. Can you believe I did that? What or was I thinking? Okay. Here. I should have probably rough chopped those a little bit, but hey, stir fry. It doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, let's get everything moving around here. Okay, now we're going to hit this with some salt and pepper. Help draw some of the moisture out. And pepper just so it makes it taste yummy. I like to season each layer because we want it flavorful. The most important part of keto is flavorful. If it's not flavorful, you feel like you're, you're missing something. Okay, let's see. I need to get a walk. I've been cooking a lot of Asian food lately. use this other skillet over here to stage the veggies so that we can cook this chicken up. Um, this raw chicken with our rest of our food. So I'm going to take this off. Okay, so come back over here. Hit the pan and get a little bit more of that avocado oil. Maybe they turn for him? Yeah. Alright. Now the fun begins. You know what? I am just having those afterthoughts. And because I kind of do this on like experimental basis. But you know what we're going to add? We're going to put some turmeric in here. Mm. I just feel like that would be great. If I had some curry, I'd add that too. Because that would be awesome. And I don't have any. I had a bottle and I looked at the expiration date and it was like three years ago. So 
I don't use it a lot, so I don't have any. But that's why I buy those little tiny bottles of the different seasonings because you really can't use them that quick. So I buy the little bottles so that you can get through them a little better. chicken up and then we're gonna get our rice down here in the pan. Super, super good. Alright. Let's make sure this chicken is cooked through. Nobody wants raw chicken. So I'm gonna pick up here a little bit. I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, so our chicken is cooked through cooked it about three more minutes after I turned off the camera, tasted it. A little tiny bit on the salty side, but obviously you saw the cauliflower rice that has no flavor in it whatsoever, so that will, I think, level out, but maybe cut back a little bit on the salt, or maybe a little bit, maybe a, teaspoon, a tablespoon and a half of the coconut aminos, because they are kind of salty, but let's go ahead and put this over here in our staging split. Okay. All right. So now we're back. A little bit more olive. I'm um, avocado oil. So we're going to get our bag of rice. From the center. Okay. I'm kind of line. I'm so terrible with this. You know what? I'm just going to cut it because it has been sitting for a while. So it is not steamy inside. But don't do that when you steam the bag. Okay? So. So. A hellacious mess over here. So, let's get our cauliflower moving around in here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna move y'all closer. Okay. Get closer to the action. Alright. Well, I'm gonna let this cook for a few minutes. Let me try to rearrange things here. Getting our cauliflower. This gives a little color to it. I don't want to go too far with it. We'll bring back our other elements to the party. And I should probably put the egg in there before this, but you know what? Honestly, to me, it doesn't really matter. Look at that. That's me so delicious. Um, oops, did I make a mess? Yeah. Don't be surprised. So, everything's cooked, but basically we're just letting all the flavors get together. I'm going to turn it down first a little bit. And just keep, keep it moving. This is fabulous. Oh my gosh. So good. All these veggies all mixed together. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? It looks, oh, it smells even better than it looks. Okay, we're gonna put this down low for a second. So I'm gonna let them grab a couple of eggs and I'll be right back. Alright, so here's how I do it. I'm gonna turn this back up and I'm gonna make a pocket in the middle. Push everything to the outside. I'm gonna pour my egg. Normally I would salt and pepper the egg, but you know, obviously we're already a little on the salty side. So we're gonna scramble this egg right here in the middle. Okay. 
and just be patient. Remember, we just raised our heat back up, so we'll just keep stirring this in. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so delicious. Just... Okay, guys, we got our egg. It's almost done. We just get start to get like this. Start pulling the rest of the mixture in. And just start mixing it around into the rice. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so good. It smells amazing, like really amazing. I wish I would have put more garlic in it. Hmm. Next time, I have some fresh garlic. I should have chopped up, but I did use garlic powder, so we're okay. This is our fried rice. I'm gonna plate this up. I'm gonna get you a shot of the bowl. Oh my gosh, this is so good. We're gonna hit this with some green onions right here at the end and we are going to call it money. This is so, oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, see you back with a bowl. Hey guys. I have truly outdone myself and if you do not try this recipe you are absolutely cray cray this is delicious mm, it is really super good don't mind my mess look her broccoli saw to come mm -hmm. it is so delicious yes I'm moving stuff because I came home from the grocery store got everything unpacked as quick as possible and then started recording this video look at that Mmm, coming to your Instagram page soon. Okay. Hey guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit the little bell, all the things YouTube. Um, I will be back to you with another video probably tomorrow. So you have a great night and thank you for watching.